Hi there, I'm Marina from AppShops.com and in this video we're going to be addressing a very important topic for our users, which is whether they need a work visa to work with an app job or not. So by the end of this video you will know, according to some specific categories, the answer to that question. So in most cases the answer is yes, you will need a work visa to work with an app job in another country. But that can vary when it comes to other app jobs too. So let's go to the categories to see that. For driving and delivery jobs in the US, for example, having the H-1B visa only allows you to work for the employer that offered you the visa. And working with an app job means that you are self-employed, which is only allowed to do once you already have your social security number. As driving and delivery jobs actually require you to live in the country, yes, you will be needing a visa to work with them. And for different countries, there are different requirements so it's always good to go to the country's embassy to see what you can do. But having the visa is not going to be enough to work with DoorDash, Lyft or Uber for example. You're also going to need to have some kind of personal number like a social security number to start working. DoorDash for example will verify you through that number. In addition to that, Uber and Lyft require a driver's license for at least a year to start driving. So wrapping this up, besides having the right to live in the country, you also need a social security number to start working. And that's equivalent in Europe for a personal number, for example. Find out how to apply for a social security number in the US with the link in our description box. And also check some embassies in Europe to see the right information. When it comes to Australia, if you have a visa 573 or 574, which are student visas, you can work to 40 hours a fortnight of a semester. This means you can work 15 hours a week, 25 hours the other week, as long as you not exceed 40 hours in a two week period. Now changing category if you are interested in working with online teaching and freelancing, I have great news for you. Since these jobs are remote, you do not need a visa to work with them. So these jobs only require you to have an internet connection and be able to sell your skills online. So you can teach languages with Linguda or Pleply. If you want to teach a subject like math or any other skill that you have, you can go for Udemy. And similarly to teaching, freelancing also only requires you to be working on a computer with graphic design, marketing, content creation. And a few options you have to work with freelancing is Upwork, People Per Hour or Freelancer. And the best thing about working with online freelancing is not only the fact that you don't need a visa, but you're also going to get paid better by your outside employer because you're working abroad. However, the paying method can be a bit tricky, so pay attention to that when applying. And just like the first category we talked about, when it comes to the categories of babysitting and pet seating, companies like Rover, Dog Buddy, or Care.com, or Sitter City, they do not have employees. They have independent business owners. And just as driving and delivery, you will need your social security number and then H-1B visa will not be enough, unfortunately, to start working with an app job like this. But before giving you the best tip to start working abroad with an app job, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, so don't forget to click on the red button, just scroll down a little bit, click there, and this way you will always know when we have a new video up. So having a student visa is the best way to start working abroad with an app job, because you can get a social security number through that. So if you are a student anywhere in the world and you have a social security number or a personal number, you can start working with an app job with no problem. And also, whenever going to a new country, thinking about getting an app job, always contact the embassy first to know all the information you need. If you need a social security number, if the visa is enough to work as an independent worker, and all the other information you need. So a friendly reminder, before starting with any job in our job offers, make sure to read the requirements first. And that's it for the video, I hope you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!